This is Stacy, and I'm Amanda with BND. We've already seen in the last two videos how choices can affect how much money you have. Using credit cards can really complicate your financial well-being if you aren't careful with them. Studies suggest that it's easier to spend more money when you use credit cards than if you pay with cash because you don't feel the immediate impact on your pocketbook, especially if you don't pay it in full every month. We've learned a lot from Jake and Emily already, so let's take a look at how they use their credit cards. Each of them has a total of $3,000 in credit available to them. Their interest rate is 16%. Since Jake's check primarily goes to paying all of his necessary expenses, he uses his credit card frequently to purchase clothes and entertainment. We've already seen that Emily is more careful with her spending. In a typical month, she will spend $440 on her credit card, well within the level where she can repay it every month since she had just over $1,000 left after her other expenses. Jake, on the other hand, spends about $900 each month on his credit card. And since he only had $133 left at the end after his other expenses, he can only repay $100 each month on it. The difference is this. Jake only makes the minimum payment of $100 each month on his card. Emily pays hers in full. Jake is charged 16% interest on the balance he carries forward each month. To keep it simple, we'll round up to the next dollar. In the first month, Jake charges $900 to his credit card. Emily charges $440 to hers. Jake chooses only to pay $100 of his balance and Emily pays off the entire balance. So Jake has $800 to carry over to the next month and Emily has none. Now it starts getting interesting. Jake carried over the $800 and was charged 16% interest. That increased his bill by $12, so now there is an $812 balance that will be added to his new charges this month of $900, bringing his total balance to $1,712. Once again, he chooses to only pay $100, so he'll carry a $1,612 balance to the next month. Emily chose to pay hers off and will have $0 to carry over to the next month. She is paying $440 for $440 of expenses. We're going to show you just one more month to illustrate how interest expenses add up on a credit card. Remember that Jake had $1,612 to bring forward from last month? The interest charge on that was $23, so now his total initial balance is $1,635. Emily has a $0 balance. They both add their regular spending amounts, so now Jake owes $2,535. He has incurred $35 of interest expenses. Emily has none. The other item to note is that Jake has a balance of $2,435 on his credit card, and he has a credit limit of $3,000 on it. That means that next month, he will only be able to put $565 on his card unless he pays a good portion of it off. This is a simple example, but hopefully you can appreciate the value of being careful with your expenses and credit cards.